Oddly, it's not Cruz's wild spending that will be his undoing. A few months after meeting him, Amy Weatherford confronts Cruz. She says she's caught him sending inappropriate text messages to her 17-year-old daughter. I'll buy you a BMW if you would show me uh, your boobs. You don't have to tell your mother. Stuff like that. I mean, lewd and lascivious in this county. I just, I was so mad at him, OK? Because this was my kid, and we were supposed to be friends. How dare you, right? I told him. They won't find your body parts if you ever make a pass at my kid again. How dare you? That's about the bottom line. When asked about this by American Greed, Cruz did not deny the story. After Weatherford first discovers the texts, she decides she wants revenge. She has an inkling that something is fishy at Yorkshire and feels there's only one option. Taking his ass out. You want me to put that more mildly? I'd rather not. He was going down one way or the other. If it wasn't going to be on the paperwork and finding out how he's spending this money, it was going to go a whole different route. It didn't matter, you know, but this guy was gone. To take him down, she needs more information. She knows Cruz needs help getting organized and goes to him with a proposal. I said, look, Paul, if you need to get these promissory notes out or whatever you need to get done, let me do it for you as a part-time job and we'll be good to go. He was all for it. It was like he trusted me completely. What a fool. <laughs> what a fool. On a premiere episode of American Greed, living large on his client's life savings. He just stole from them. Until he crosses the wrong woman and pays a painful price. He was going down one way or the other. Twisting his love of money into a lust for revenge. It takes a really big leap to go from financial crime to wanting to kill people. <laughs> a premiere episode of American Greed, Thursday, 10 Eastern. Gotcha. Only on CNBC.